guys, it's Caroline. So today I'm showing you a drugstore haul. I personally love these videos because I get good recommendations on certain drugstore makeup products that I haven't even heard of or haven't even tried and most of the time I really end up liking them. So I want to share my recommendations with you guys. So I basically went to CVS and got a bunch of drugstore makeup and other products. And also if you haven't already subscribed, please do so down there so you can be notified when I make my next video. And also thumbs up this video if you liked it. And yeah, let's get started. It's so hot in my room right now. I am actually dying. Okay. So the first thing I got wasn't really a recommendation, but I just saw it and I thought that I would try it out. I was in need of a new eyebrow gel and I usually use the Maybelline one, the clear mascara, but I decided to try this one and it is the Milani Brow Shaping Clear Wax. And I'm not sure how well this is going to go if the wax is like sticky or anything. Yeah, it's just this clear wax that you can sharpen and you just put on your eyebrows to help them stay in place. So the next thing I got is the CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara in the color Very Black 800. And I've actually repurchased this like three times. It's one of my favorite mascaras. The wand on this is amazing and makes your eyelashes look really long. And I normally use it for the bottom lashes just because they grip the lashes really well and make you look like you have falsies basically and my eyelashes are pretty short and I love the look of long eyelashes so yeah I love this so the next thing I got is another mascara and you guys have probably heard of this one it's also another popular one and it is the L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes and I got it in the color black is black 635 I don't really know what the numbers mean but this one is also one of my favorites I have so many empty tubes of this just like lying around where my makeup is it leaves your lashes basically looking like they're false lashes they separate them I definitely recommend this it's an amazing mascara and leaves your eyelashes really nice and separated and look fluttery and just like overall really big which I love big lashes personally I got is an eye primer and this one's by Milani it is in the shade or the color nude 01 I haven't really heard any reviews about this I just looked up on Google like eyeshadow drugstore eyeshadow primers and this was one of the ones that came up so I decided to try it and I usually use high-end ones which are really good but they can be pretty expensive for eyeshadow primers so I decided to try a drugstore one and hopefully this one works out thing I got is also from Milani and it's in the color black 01 it's just a regular pencil liner and this is one of my favorites I find that it's the blackest eyeliner it, it goes on so smooth so I definitely recommend it and it's not one that like smudges or wears away throughout the day it's kind of a creamy texture really like stays on your waterline and it goes on so black like it's a really really good eyeliner so you guys should definitely try it out if you haven't got is from Rimmel and it is their natural bronzer in the color 021 sunlight so yeah I have their um, sun bronze one which I used mostly for the summer because it had like a nice glow to it but I decided to get a matte bronzer since it's like the wind towards the winter time and more like cooler tones so I just didn't really want the shimmer one so I decided to get the matte one and it's a waterproof bronzing powder that just looks like this and it has like a sun. I love bronzer so much and I'm always switching it up. In my routine, I just like trying new bronzers. Bronzer is basically like the, my favorite part of makeup because it just makes your face look so much better, I think. The next thing I got is a beauty blender and this is just a latex foam one that looks like this. And this one is like the one from Sephora, like the pink one, but it's so much cheaper. Like those ones are, I think like 15 or $20. But this one I think was like maybe like five or seven or something. So that's a pretty good deal. Um, and I personally think that this is oh, I personally think that this is like better than those because it has the other ones are just like a teardrop shape, but this one has a point at the top and like a flat part at the bottom. So you can like use it in different ways and stuff. So the next thing I got is this Neutrogena Makeup Remover Wipe and these are the cleansing towelettes, the night calming ones. And I like these better than the regular Neutrogena ones because those tend to like burn my eyes around the eye area and leave them like really red and it's just not good. So I find these ones work really well. I can use like one towelette 
and take off my entire face of makeup including my eyes and mascara so yeah that's really good and it also saves a lot of money because you don't have to buy other products specifically for your eyes and like other things Next thing I got are these exfoliating cotton round pads and these are just to take off your eye makeup or use for your like face. But since I have my makeup remover wipes, I don't need another thing to take off my eye makeup. So I mostly use these to exfoliate my face. Like I would put um, an exfoliator like scrub on this and just like rub around my face to take off any excess makeup that the wipe didn't take off. And they're also very soothing to the skin. Like I can show you the pads are pretty like I don't know, they have a nice texture on it that feels nice. Next thing I got is not really makeup related at all, but I just decided to put it in this haul because... Oh, that rhymed. <laughs> but I decided to put it in this haul just because, um, I don't know, that was one of the things that I bought that day. So, um, and it's just this nail polish remover. It's the Beauty 360 Original Nail Polish Remover. Um, so yeah, looks like this. Nothing really special. I just needed one and decided to pick another one up. <laughs> my hair like kind of blends in with my sweater because my hair is like black. My sweater is just, yeah, chilling. The next thing I got are these fake nails and you're probably like really confused with why I got these. Um, I saw in a beauty life hack video that if you are trying to grow out your nails and you like put the fake nails on top, then you're like letting your nail underneath like grow out while um, you still have your nails looking pretty and stuff. So I decided to do that because my nails right now are extremely short without these. Um, they just look like this. They look really pretty. They're just this French manicure. So um, you basically just put like glue on and then like stick the nail on it and just like hold it there for a few seconds. They're really good and easy to apply. The only thing is that I have had to like re-apply um, some of the nails because they've like fallen off really easily but I think that's because like my nail underneath is really short or something I don't know other than that they're like really good and they look really pretty and yeah so I got these and if you're wondering like the type that I got it says um, it's like the kiss everlasting French manicure it says it's the best-selling nails worldwide so I decided to try it and it comes with 28 nails you can keep um, reapplying and use another set of them which is really good I got is a foundation and after I purchased this I realized it was a foundation when I got it I thought it was just a primer probably should have like read the label I just kind of like picked it up but anyway I got the Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Mousse Foundation in the color of Classic, pa Classic Beige 201 and just from like this part I thought that it was a primer I don't know why uh, I'm like curious to see how well, this works. I've never tried a liquid mousse foundation. It's kind of like a creamy texture. Oh, it really does look like mousse. Whoa. Cool. So I'm excited to try that out. So that was everything in this haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. And please subscribe if you already haven't somewhere down there. And thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. Also, leave me some comments down below on what to film next. I've been pretty busy lately, so sorry if I haven't been uploading or making high quality, like good content videos. I Hopefully we'll have some more time this weekend or just some other days. I've just had a ton of work to do. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching.